Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop right into it. Collect your precious energy. Let's see how they feel about you. We got the page of staffs. We have the page of swords. Okay, it's a lot of pages so far. That's too many. <laughs> we have the hangman. Let's get one more for your person's energy, Pisces. And we have the magician. Okay, now what's crossing all this energy, Pisces, is the strength card. So your person is in this energy of trying to be more of a stand-up person. Like, I'm, a, I'm my word is my bond type of energy. Like, okay, if I say something, I mean it. Whatever I say I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. Like, trust me. You know, like, believe in me. Right. This person wants you to be proud of them. They want you to look at them as a strong individual, someone that you could be proud to have on your shoulder. Right. Look at that two of cups under there. Right. Someone you can have a strong relationship with. So with this page of staffs, right, the page of wands, it's like, OK, Pisces, let's let's do something different. OK, your person is kind of inspired to. um you know, head in a different direction to build something new with you. So let's see, what is this person wanting to build new with you, Pisces, here? And it's the Eight of Wands, right? We, they definitely want forward movement. And, and what they want to build may take a lot, right? It may take a lot. The Eight of Wands represents multitasking, having a lot going on, but also moving on, right? So this person wants to, you know, build something that can advance the connection, that can move the relationship forward, you know, growth. All right. So what does this person want to see come out of this relationship? And they're going to have a conversation with you about it because the eight of wands also speaks of communication. Right. And we have the page of coins, all these pages. Right. It's like the beginning of something. The, the maturity level is coming up. I feel like y'all maturity level is rising and y'all becoming more responsible, taking your relationship more serious. So that's how I feel about your person. I feel like they're inspired to move this relationship forward. They know that it's going to be a heavy responsibility. It's going to be a lot, but they feel like you worth it. And they just want to take responsibility on moving this relationship forward, growing it into being more mature, right? With the page of swords, it's all about the communication. And look, they so smooth when they talk. Look how smooth they is when they talk. It's like they got a way of saying stuff that just make you smile, right? So let's see what's this person talk to you about that have you smiling about this new beginning, right? This new beginning, this may be something that you wanted as well, but this new beginning is solid and it also comes from love, right? That hand is coming straight up out the water with a strong pinnacle, like with the eye of horse, with the pineal gland wide open. So it's like this person knows what they want to do, right? They know that you're their person and they know that they love you and they know that they could commit to you. So they want to talk about elevating the com the connection, right? It's it's time to grow, baby. We we've been, you know, in this spot for a while, and now I feel like it's time to push this relationship to the next level. Which means they may want a deeper commitment. They want to may want to commit. So let's see what else does this person talk to you about that has you smiling, right? And it's the six of wands. It's like you see me, Pisces. You recognize that I am a a big success. You know, when it comes to this relationship, like you got to catch this person has a lot of confidence. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like they good for you. Right. We got time to grow. We got time to succeed with each other. Right. We got time to commit. Right. So your person just talks to you about the future. They talk to you about, you know, this new beginning and all the things that they want to do with you. Right. And when it comes to the hangman. It's like they see it for what it is. They see a future. They see the whole big picture, right? They looked at this from all angles already, right? So it's like, I know where the future is taking me with you, right? So let's see how does this person view the future with Pisces. And we have the food, right? Nothing but love, nothing but companionship, nothing but breakthroughs, nothing but new beginnings. They feel like every day with you is a new day. 
which it really is literally. But, you know, it, it's like they never get bored with you. They never get tired of you. Like every day is like y'all go on some at whirlwind adventure in their mind. So it's like you 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 amaze them. You surprise them every single time. Right. It's never a dull moment. Right. So let's see. Well, how else does this person see the future? And it's the eight of Pentacles. Right. This person is willing to work hard to master this relationship with you. It's like they want to put all their time, energy, money, dedication. They devote it to you, Pisces. This person really has your back and they're really focused on how to keep you stable, how to how to please you. Right. They're a master at pleasing you now. Right. Because there's never a dull moment. You all are so excited. They can't do nothing but pay attention to you. Right. And they feel like you see them, too. You know, this is a big success story. You know that we can grow this relationship. You know that we could be more committed. Maybe one day get married. Right. With the hangman, I don't see nobody else but you. I see the future with you. My new beginning is here with you. I'm focused strictly on you. This is something that I manifested over here with the magician. And if you look at this magician, it's like forever. It's infinity. This is my truth. This is my love. Right. So it's like this person taking action on building the type of future that they want to have with you, which is a, a deeper level of commitment. This, this person wants to take the relationship to the next level. King of Cups. Right. They in love with you. They are in love with you, Pisces, right? They understand your emotions and they're here to protect your emotions. And they got a certain way about doing it, right? They got a certain swag about them, okay? So this person is, is, is loving you. They in love with you here. They comfortable, right? They understand you. And it's the five of swords, Know that, it, and this is the thing, like you just have to know that everything is, is not going to be perfect always, right? There are going to be times when we up, there are going to be times when we're down, but know that my love for you never changes and whatever action I need to take to keep this relationship strong, that's what I'm going to do, right? So this is the energy of your person. At the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have the death card. Could it be a Scorpio? Right. So with this death card, it's, it's, it's just the change of the relationship for the better, the, the, the strength of it. Right. The commitment. Everything is getting deeper and deeper and deeper and it's changing for the better. So, yeah, I hope this resonated. Pisces, let's hop into it. Get a word. No, let's let's get a divine message for you and this person since it's so lovely and beautiful. Let's get a divine message. What is the divine wanting Pisces to know? about this connection okay listening to wisdom right listening to wisdom so it's it's all good here it's like you smart enough to know you smart enough to make your own decisions you know if this real or not you you already know you already wise enough to know right so however you take this information take it with wisdom okay so I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the second chakra, and it's the sacral chakra. And this one is relevant to well-being. I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best of foods, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments, and thoughts. I only consume foods and liquids that were designed by nature to be in my body. I stimulate my body's energy flow with exercise. I make time to rest as stillness and tranquility are vital to keeping my mind and body rejuvenated. So well-being is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.